Yesterday, we did words with SPR, SPR, and SCR. But now we have a three-letter cluster. That will be the CHR. Yeah, there's six terms. This one says rot, rot a walk. This one says wet. Oh. Ooh, red hat. And hot rat. These are T H R words, and you have to unscramble them. And you can do it in any order. Doesn't matter which one you start with. If you decide to start with four, then your answer has to go on line four. The six card. We'll go on the... Sickness! Set, you're sick? No! Sorry that you're sick. You should feel better. Okay. We're going to have some fun. Yeah, you're good. I like how you started with spraying the TH on all your boxes. Uh -huh, good strategy. Uh -huh, and then we figure out the rest of the words. Good, keep going. Okay. Three. 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 What do you think? Three. Three. Yeah. What's the word? Yeah. Good job. You have Mello that wrote down a word. Mello, did you share this with your group if you think that's the word? What did you write down? Thread. Thread. Remember how you spell bread? Yeah, it's B-R-E-A-D. Like, yeah. And you don't like red like you read a book? It's actually R-E-A-D. Look at what you wrote. Spell. Starting with the R. Red. Bread, like you read a book, put a B in front of that, that's bread. Now we have a TH for thread. Isn't that weird? Uh, it should be threed. Doesn't go with the rules, does it? Yeah. Uh, number six. Yeah, we're struggling. All right, so how do you start out? What's the strategy to start out finding this word? Letter? T-H-R-O-A-T. Oh, Wouldn't want that to be. That would be duck. Wait, it's, it's T H R O A T. What's that spell? Throat. No way. How'd you figure that out? That um, was crazy. O A makes the O sound. You got it. You guys are so smart. <laughs> you must have a great teacher. I have to meet him someday. You are a teacher. Oh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> you're the best teacher. Oh, you're so kind. All right, let's find out how you did. Raise up, you know word number one. All right, say it. Throat. Spell it, please. Someone put in a sentence for me. Kaden. I throw a ball across the pool. I throw a ball across the pool. Wow, that's pretty good. Depending on how big the pool was. If it was a little kiddie pool, I could do that. It was a big Olympic pool. I don't know if I could do that. that was your hands are too small. Plus, I'm using my right hand and I'm left handed. Right, number two. Adairman, what's number two? Through. Everyone spell through. T H R E W. Through. So there's another through. It wasn't one of the words we had to unscramble. It's the first. Good try. So what's the next vowel after O in this word? Me? Oh, the letter U. Then what? There's that weird G-H that's in words. that's silent. G-H is silent. No, really, listen. Can't hear it. It must be silent. Basically. I went through a tunnel. All right, so number three, what is the word, everyone? Three. Yes, number three. Okay, the word three. T A R E E. On the word three, what if you switch the R and the E around? Think of the word. Don't say it, but think of it. Don't say it. Let everyone use their brain time to think. What is it? There. Like over there. Ah, uh, what's number four on your list? Hey, Allison. Thrill. How would you put thrill in a sentence? Right in. I'm feeling thrilled right now. I'm feeling.
feeling thrilled right now? I'm feeling thrilled right now. I'm a feeling thrilled. What is what is that, Sarah? I was thrilled. How would we write that? Thrilled. Sounds like a different sound at the end. We would put an ed at the end for thrilled. Because it's in the past. Next word. What's the next word? Everyone tell me. Thread. What is it? Thread. Thread. We make this a little smaller, move it up a bit more. Everybody, last one. What is it? Okay, this is a one syllable word, right? So don't make it last like Oh yeah, what's our class motto? Success begins with positive 